In this video, we will see how you can create a complex navigation component using a JavaScript helper. There are actually two ways to provide more complex business logic than possible with HTML alone. You can provide business logic by using either Java helper or by using JavaScript helper. So in this video, we will see how you can use JavaScript helper to provide business logic. So in addition to this, the use API that we are going to use will be using common variable, which is already available to it. For example, it has current node, current page resources, etc, etc. So these objects are already available to the JavaScript use API. Now open the AEM console and this is our web structure. Now go to your CRX console. Now we will create the JavaScript helper class. So go to your project training component site top nav. Right click to the site top nav component and create a file. Name it as top nav .js. Click on OK. Now save it. Now go to the my GitHub repository. You can find this link in my description below. Go to the developer course. Now go to the authoring structure components, lab activity one. Now click on this task four. Click on this topnav.js. Now copy this code from here and paste it to our CX console. Save it. This file has the same logic that we had in our topnav.java class. Here we need to use use function under which you will have the logic. We are using items array and we are using root page. So here we are fetching the get absolute parent and we are using the same level two. So this is how you are fetching the page. And after that, if that page is null, then we'll put the current page like I had showed you in my last video. So we'll fetch the children's of the page. So to access the Java level, you can also do that by using this. You need to add the just you just need to add the packages keyword after you can put the library path and use it. So this way I'm fetching the children of the current page and returning it. Now go to the site topnet.html. Here in this case, I will use the JavaScript. So remove this topnet, which was our Java class. I'm giving it topnet.js. Save it. And the rest of the things are same. We are fetching the items from this top nav. So here the object is same and we are fetching the children's that is navigation items and showing it. Now, now go to the site console. Let's see what happened in the background. Let's open our English page. Click on edit. Now go to the PV mode. Here you can see we got the navigation menu as about us, communities, experience and products. And if I click on product, again, we have the same navigation menu. And suppose if I open VTrain, then we should get English and French page. So this is how you can use JavaScript use API also. So this was the second way of creating business logic and using it in your Sightly component. Thank you friends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.